Welcome to Dead Rising! Yeah. Let's go. It's been so long. It's been... It's been not that long. We're gonna go new game mode, because whatever. Be gentle. This is one of my... Man, it feels so weird coming back to this. <laughs> Doesn't okay. it? No, 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 it's kidding. There's been no break. <laughs> this has been... Okay. Context. This game... Okay. Context. Alex is playing. I'm eating You're eating Nanaimo bars, so we're Nanaimo really bars. back into it. Well, excuse me while I... Excuse me while I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> feels good. Actually, that volume's... It's like we never left. Yeah. Okay, so context. This is one of. <laughs> oh my god! My god. Like Shit! I wanted to be regular Frank West and not, and not horse Frank West. Fuck ass goofy guy Frank West. You fucked okay. it up already. This is all right. I'm gonna chug this. You say something. Same all right. Buddy. So the context is you this is a game that, that Alex loves a lot, and I think he That's actually 100 percent right. it a couple of years ago. Um, but uh, I know we're a little this, like I that. guess, is the oh shit! Master? I skipped it by accident. Good job. Okay, Twaddle context. You are Frank West. Context. This game came out ten years ago. On the, it was an Xbox 360 exclusive, early on in the life cycle of the A360. Context. If you say context before everything, it loses context. Context. It was made by Kenji fucking Inafune. Inafune. Kenji Inafune, who created uh, Resident Evil, Onimusha. I almost said Malcolm X. Mega Man. So no good games, basically. It's... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's, it's Pokemon Snap with uh, the Zack Schneider remake of Dawn of the Dead. It's arcadey. It's difficult to control. It's got zombies in it from 2006 before it became, like, overbaked. It's like everything you wanted. This is like a little tutorial for the Pokemon Snap mechanics. I'm a fucking expert in this game. Let me, can I just, like, can I just ego it for a second? I beat... Can I stop you? No. Uh, I beat every single, <laughs> I mean every single achievement in this 360 game, including well, that, for those of you who are. Would you like some Nanamo bars? No, I would. I'll in a minute. No, uh, you get I need to get the controller. Well, I don't give a fuck. This is a 360. I have like three of them for Dark Souls practice. Yeah, yeah but put it right by the mic, no dude. Idea. But if but if you get if I can use this as an excuse to eat all of them, then I'm going to. People who watch this are just gonna see the controller stop moving because I looked away for like 20 seconds. <laughs> oh god. So this game had some really difficult um, achievements, one of them being the seven day survivor achievement. So if you beat this game in um, story mode, in three day mode, 72 hour mode, then you had 24 hour mode, which was the post uh, campaign mode with no zombies, but a bunch of fucking like uh, hunk motherfuckers like from Resident Evil, uh, you know, frogmen with machine guns. And if you beat that, you would get the the survivor mode, which is with diminishing health all the time. Watch out, you gotta get extra PP points for this explosion that's gonna happen. And you would get. Um, I've gotta get some PP points. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh god, look at that! Should have done the four stars before. Perfect you. brutality. You need to re you need to reduce your PP points. But uh, here, go. You can go right now. Yeah. You're on my couch. So. <laughs> So you would you would have to survive for seven days, and that equated to <clears throat> 14 hours of real-time video games at once with you not having to uh, move away from the controller. I had to break the uh, warranty on my Xbox 360 in order to dust it so it would not overheat and red ring of death while I was trying to do this achievement. Um, it's long story short, I love this game a lot, and I know a lot about this game, so I'm really fucking hyped for this. And here's this woman that's ready to get her shit from standing right this. Yeah, by the ground. Uh, yeah, no, it's gonna- well, the zombie's gonna push her, and she's gonna, like, her swarm down. Did you see the, uh, Dead Rising- or did you see the, uh, the Dawn of the Dead, the Zack Schneider movie? I did. That was a great movie. Not, not bad. I like that a lot. I- not enough, um, same problem as with this, uh, game. Not enough- uh, dildo launching machines. Oh no! Well, see, okay. So, in the, if you, for for dedicated uh, viewers of this channel, i.e., Dallas. Um, hi, Dal. Hi, Dallas. It's great to see you. I hope you're having fun, friends. Um, <laughs> this is this is just me a, a meta communication between one <laughs> one person we're communicating with across the internet. Um, we did a Dead Rising two let's play at our previous season, and that's a fun game. That was created by Blue Castle Studios, which were a bunch of Canadians, and it's a great- OH GOD! Um, brutality. And that was a great game, but also, I actually had a bone to pick about the, um, I wanna see the, uh, the crafting Take system. Because I think this game is actually a true survival horror game. 
out. Hear me out. Because it doesn't involve crafting and you just have to survive with what you got? It's like, yeah. With your Lego head? With your Lego head. It's it's not necessarily scary, but there's a lot of tension. Your Armani suit and your your uh, hey man Lego head we're, in we're, the tension. We're going for fucking. This is actually based off of a real mall in Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, yeah, pound for pound, real mall in Wisconsin. Hey. Check it out, guys. Wiki it. Can you get me um, on the rooftop of that mall? At this rate, I'm gonna just like. You gotta be kidding me! All the moisture in my body is going to expunge. You are nuts. My part. Three. Yeah, man, you are nuts. You don't say. You're fucking right, flying listen. dead mouse into a goddamn me. zombie apocalypse. As long as you're flying Lucio into the apocalypse. It's that guy's cool. All the West. West. This helicopter pilot is a break it down. That's how you get to the um, This helicopter pilot is actually. I think it's like a subtle homage to the helicopter pilot in Resident Evil 2 that gets a sh shit shot to shit by an SMG, but whatever. And you never find out what's in that case. Oh, it's the dildos. That's why you can't build the dildo one. <laughs> oh. What was the second guy, the, the guy in the second, uh... Get us um, back down to that rooftop! The second part's name was? Oh, uh... Fucking no, Wank Thrust. Wank Thrust in the Oh, God, fake Frank Quest. And then you had my personal headcanon, which was, um... Dead Rising 2 off the record. <coughs> which was, what if Dead Rising Man Frank West... Look at that shit! Boom! Metal Gear Solid 1! Dun, dun. There's no way that camera survived that fall. He's Frank West. He's covered worse, you know. <laughs> Hello there. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. He's I so excited to see everyone. I you just look at that. You? Okay, look at those textures. You. This this was a 360 you game, know. and like the <coughs> whole thing about yeah, 360, like freelance, like you know. Well, how do I put this? Like the textures are just long. fucking great in this game. No crew. Well, yeah, because this is so, a, a uh, remaster, isn't it? Um, this is actually anyway. pretty close to the original. Yeah, but they've upped the textures. I helicopter, maybe I don't know. Yeah, those the, the, that that Spanish open chested code looks pretty fucking new. Well. Actually, <laughs> I wanted to start at level one at if like at level ride, zero. I'm pretty sure I'm actually I doubt at level the would quarantine the entire Well, then area. you're just a goddamn failure. What the, the fuck? Ever? Why do we even do this? Uh, uh, whatever. This is, what is this amateur whatever. hour? Whatever. I'm There's fine. A, I'm fine with this. This is fine. Everything's fine. Like, the, the tension is all lost with the Lego head. Dude, you can do some that. shit. You could be, like, bald in a Speedo with, like, um, spider to look at. Like <laughs> so why don't you just tell me already? You use these little What's chin flaps. On? What's going on? I think so, like, Palsy, do we want to watch these cutscenes? No, I was fuck it. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell there's, you what happens. There's only one cutscene we need to see, and it's when he comes out of the uh, the vent. And he's covered wars, you know. No. I'm level 13. Motherfucker. Oh no, you're level 13. You can do stuff. It's uh, cool. Yeah, that's fine. I got a super speak. super upset. It's oh, fine. this does look really nice, actually. Oh, this is, this was fucking my fucking jam. All the survivors would hang out here when you start when you save them. There's a save point. Blah blah okay. blah. Okay. Blah blah blah. Shut up. Go get a horse head. <laughs> yes. No. That's my my shtick. Uh, I'm just gonna. Look that, at that. That horse. My head. god, there's zombies everywhere. Okay. If we get we we understand game. Fuck it, speed okay. run, speed run, let's do this. Speed run. Na, 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 go yeah, you need the, the horse store. head before you go into the, the vent. Okay, that's in that's in I think like kids kids are us or kids emporium. Whatever it's called, yeah. It yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. God, he's so slow. I mean, I've already got speed upgrade. He's I got like, the kick. Oh, I can't use it right now. Oh god. Okay, gotta go through this. I mean, like that's to be to be fair, he can probably run fast. Oh my god, there's can. people everywhere. A woman, oh. a Spanish woman. <laughs> the, the, the game's, the story's not good. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's, the, you know what the story is? The story is, is Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. The story is, why are you listening to the story? Just watch Dawn of the Dead while you play it's this. It's the gameplay. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Kathy. I love how Alvin is like, every time I go to the mall with you, something happens. <laughs> this old man's a scientist, he knows too much, he's somehow related to this. He, looks, person. he looks like a, a, a JRPG villain. So the, tick, the trick to this game is 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 uh, lateral movement. So you want to be jiggling, and you want to jump right before the zombies try to attack you. You want to actually encounter as few of them as possible. Some of them are going to be more aggressive than others. That doesn't give me any health reduction, so that's fine. So you want to be jumping and kicking all the time, and not fucking around. <laughs> I did not fuck around when I played this game. I can see that. <laughs> Shit, now this is why we let you play instead of me. Because <laughs> I, would have still, I would still be back there. 
the, the, some oh, of the, no, zombies. The, and actually, the reason why the zombies come through is this one bitch with a dog is like, my dog! And then uh, opens up. She oh, no. she has the superhuman grandma strength. This guy's the worst person in the entire game because he never shuts up. The superhuman grandma strength. Yeah, but you need, you, uh, a settlement needs your help. <laughs> the Watchmen! Look how tall Frank West is. I think he's like canon. He's 6'4". Well, I think that like a foot of that is Lego head. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> the transceiver is the tool of your psychological demise because he will call you nonstop when you answer the call. Gonna take this, gonna take this. Gonna talk to you. Can't answer your questions. But I can't take a picture of the copy. Right. Oh, Dead not okay. yet! Okay, so you can get some TNA photos that will give you erotic points. Oh, good. Uh, that will give you more PP. I want to get as much PP as possible because I level up, I get strength with PP. And I'll explain the coffee creamers later. <laughs> I get so, strength with PP. Oh, see, we fucked the, it up. Yeah, you need to come out with the horse head. I know, oh. I know. But that's kind of good. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> and he, oh my god, there's roof everywhere. So that, like, with the horse head, that is the greatest thing in this entire game. Yep. Like, you don't hey, need yep. to play the rest. Okay, so we're going to do a couple survivors. We're not going to do them all. Okay, what's but up? But we're yes. already at the mall. This, this, oh god. You yeah. To this guy. So these guys are the biggest. I, I, I've yet to see Survivor AI as dumb as this, but I'm going to uh, apologetically explain it all away because I'm a Dead Rising One apologist and say <laughs> it increases the tension, guys. They're dumb. Fine. Never say, never say follow me. Always go like that and send them over because then you can move with them laterally, you can protect them. You can move over here, and then they just hold there. If they have weapons in their hands, they'll shoot them, and then you just Mr. keep moving them over there, etc., etc. Grandma strength. So this woman uh, pushes like five people away in the cutscene, like five full-grown men, Come on. and it's like, oh my dog, and then super Melissa grandma. Up. Yeah. Okay. These these two people. Jeff, Melissa. Sure Natalie. You get that. Oh soft man, porn. there's gonna be trouble at home if you say it's Melissa. Test. Perfect drama. Oh yeah. Level up? Yes! What do I get? New school! What is it? I know how to level up. I'm sorry, I'm level 13. Come on, guys. Follow me! Come on! You mastered the power push skill. Yep. Power push? That's good. Come on! Follow me! Come on! Come on! Oh wait, you gotta talk to them, excuse me. You just you're over here just wanking off. Covered wars, you know. <laughs> you know oh. covered wars. Let's go. God, I'm excited for the Disney uh, Dead Rising movie. Oh, dude. Oh, I've there. covered wars, you know. <laughs> and I don't know if it shows. <laughs> I can't uh, rhyme past that. I can't eat more of these. Go, I'm, I'm going to die. Give me one. No, you're playing video games. All right, fine. Oh, no, whatever. Trade, trade, trade. Uh, okay. Here, go ahead. I'm, <laughs> I'm in charge now, now, fuckers. Now Michael is playing. Uh, y is come over here button. Over here. What? Now they're looking at stuff. That's your, that's your camera. Mm, so good. For, the, for our American Come listeners, on. the Nanaimo bar is, is the a, greatest human invention. Is a delicacy of life. They better actually follow me. You did it! Okay. Yeah! See? Look at this. I had the controller for 30 seconds. I did all that shit you were trying you to do. You got so much PP. All right, hand it over. Touch it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Escort complete. You got PP. 20,000 of it. Um, yes. So, uh, Frank West, speaking of... Go get a horse head. I'm trying to get a horse head. This is such, this is some Dark Soul level of, of like, roll timing. Because you can't even use your left thumb to roll forward. Because it's, like... You have to, like, clack it so hard, <coughs> so rapidly. Maybe I'm just not, like, skilled enough. Yeah, uh, I think that the solution is get good. Get good. <laughs> it's fucking... Now the true Frank West begins. <laughs> okay, so oh, hear, hear that sound? Oh, good. Hear that sound? It's That's the sound time. of you going slowly mad, because you cannot use your camera. You cannot use... You can't even fall down a thing. Oh, you can fall down a thing. You can fall down stuff. That's good. That's, that's a thing, at least. Also, never use the elevator. Use that... You see that other door I took in? That's the one you want to use. It's a pretty big mall, so you're probably... Blah, 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 blah. Fine restrooms. The funny thing about that, I have too much to say about this game right now. Um, uh, funny thing about that is that uh, in the early days when this game came out, by the way, mannequin torsos, ultimate uh, beginner weapon before you get the triple book chainsaw. Oh my god. I'll explain that later. Um, where's that other mannequin? Is that over there? Fuck it. There's no. <sighs> so. In in 2006, 2007... <coughs> oh, this is where he's covered wars. I want to... I think this is the one with the gun. Could be. Gotta see it. 
So in Zombies, in um I had a feeling he'd show up. Um uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Do you know what I was gonna say? I don't know. You're talking about elevators and uh, I was talking about elevators and I was talking about uh, What I'm talking about is is low texture oh, shoes. Oh, low texture shoes. Oh oh yeah, here we go. You. <laughs> Look, don't sneak up on me. That's a really disturbing. Brad was attacked. I located really him on the monitor. Him right there. Oh. It's probably oh. Sprain. It's probably help sprain. Brad. So like He's done for. Oh my god, well, right. I had a really Fine. important factoid here. Gun. Shit. Um Come on. Fuck. I'm the reason you just got Okay, hurt. so let me help. No. Wait, I what can't was let that? a civilian do that. It, it, right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. Well, I don't think they My they mysterious the voice from beyond. In the early days kid. of 2006, 2007, when you a lot of people were this? playing this game, it's what? Kinda. I've covered wars here. Yeah! Yeah! In the early days of 2006, 2007, when a lot of people were playing this game on um, CRT monitors, this game oh was gosh, yeah, automatically created with, um, you know, you, uh, th this game was, was made I for HD. Nice this, this game was made for HD TVs, which I didn't have. Funny thing about that, the early a lot of the early Xbox 360 games, the text was too small to read. You can see this text scrolling on the bottom was too small to read. Otis, our lovely security man, who is giving us calls with tin contextually important quest information. Did you the gun? Yeah, fuck the gun. I got a better gun. Contextually important <laughs> quest information, which you couldn't fucking see or read, leaving you with just a fucking arrow pointing to God knows where. And like, you just you want to go up here. Um, <laughs> and you couldn't, you didn't know where the fuck you were going. So what the fuck? Get that orange shoes. Can you tell I've played this game? A I think lot? Alex. Alex. Yes. Have you played this before? I've, I might have played this game before. You want this gun? That's what you want. You want to just go off there. Oh, perfect. Like that. So here we are in Paradise Plaza. This is the traditional plaza. It's the easiest plaza to navigate. It's got the most resources. The important thing is it's got horse masks. It's got horse masks. Now the horse masks are in some sort of kid zone. I don't know enough that I know every single name of every single thing. Well then you should but consider it, yourself a failure. But it's like, well first off we need some vehicles. So let's go in here for a little short term vehicle. Just gonna go up and through Sport Trance. Sport Trance, you're able to go through floors because this is a two-floor plaza, and also they have these really neat skateboards which you can just. Go oh wow, through. that was the coolest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, okay, fair enough. Jump down here. <laughs> My job, you realize, is to mock you. You can just go right through here. To oh, the yieldy toy. toy box. There it is. Get some horse mask um, up in there. Are the horse masks here? They might not be here. There's a storage box. I think there's, there's, there's bear masks. No, no. Oh, the horse mask. No, 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 no. That's horse the, mask. No, no. It's horse mask. The weapon. This is a weapon. But you need the horse, horse mask, the thing. Horse mask, the weapon? No, this is a red herring. The horse masks aren't actually here. The horse masks are in another place. I'm I'm shocked and appalled. Yeah, I, it's kind of fucked. Um, so we're going to go to Columbia Rose Masters, which is not here. That's Cantonberries. Columbia yeah, Rose, come on, man. That's Cantonberries. That's, the Columbia Rose Masters is up here. And wait, what's, what's this? You want to get some fresh kicks? Oh, those, those fresh kicks. kicks. Those yeah. are the freshest. I like this. Um, important thing to know about the skateboard is it's very fragile. You can knock zombies over with it, but do not use it as a weapon. It's a transportation tool. Because you can only no motherfucker. <laughs> Who dares? <laughs> Who dares? What you you are not prepared. It's always important. I know. It's always important to mix a couple of these up. Uh, coffee creamer and orange juice will give you a uh, like, like basically an enema. One of these. <laughs> Don't quick step milkshake. Do not try this at home, kids. Try this at home, man. You you will literally melt your insides. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Quick couple of quick steps. Get another juice. Um, you can do coffee cream and orange juice, yogurt and yogurt, or coffee cream and coffee cream. And dump, jump down here. What There's the a katana. There's a goddamn sword. <laughs> you want to just go down here? <laughs> and. Um, you are now actually a mall ninja. Uh, I'm kind of a mall ninja. I just want to go... Now, is this the place where I'm figuring out? Um, check this out, because it's funny. This is actually a reference to Resident Evil 1, which Barry says, um, after you escape this trap, it's like, you were almost a Jill sandwich. And uh, Kenji, in a point, made a little joke about that, which is funny. 
Um, I forget where I'm fucking going. Oh. You're going for horse mass. I, yeah, right, sorry. And then I gotta kill a Spaniard with an Um Yeah, well, once the recording's finished. Where, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, see, that's, it's like, how many, how many zombies do you think that was that I ran over? Right? Well, I was like, maybe Count four. Count them, like four, so do not, do not <coughs> forget. Where's that, where is that? I think, it's, I think it's up ahead on your right. No, that, well, this is a safe. No, 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 not this one. Up ahead. Where the Lego people are. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't think it's child's play. Are you sure it's not child's I play? I don't think it's child's play. There's a storage There's a storage area in the back of a toy store. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. What? Hmm. Oh, you just put on a new Lego. I love that fucking little dance. Yeah. Yes. There's just so much heart put into this game. It's just amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's... Am I going to have to wiki... Maybe. Kids' Choice? I think it might have been Kids' Choice. Oh, yeah, I think there's a storage room right back here, maybe. Could this be it? Yeah, this is it. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, now we're talking! Hmm. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Some serious horsemanship Fucking now. Fucking rock and roll. And we're going to see you later on our next episode of TLB.